Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Steve McLaughlin. You probably know that this summer is on track to be the hottest on record, but we can't say that just yet. And that's because we still have the entire second half of the season. But if we only look at July of 2023, I believe once we crunch the numbers, we're gonna find out this was the hottest July for South Florida, for America, and for the entire planet Earth. I also believe this could end up being the hottest month we have ever seen any month of any year. Here in South Florida, you probably know we get our records from four locations, Key West, Marathon, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. If we have a record in Key West, Miami, or Fort Lauderdale, that is a lock. That is 100% accurate. And those records go back about 150 years. But Marathon is a little bit more complicated for a few reasons. First reason, records only go back to 1950. Secondly, when we say marathon, we actually mean the marathon area because the thermometer since 1950 has had four locations, Marathon Shores, Conch Key, Duck Key, and its present location on the east side of Marathon Airport since 1998. So let's talk about the records from July 4th through July 22nd, 2023, 33 warm temperature records. That's 19 in the afternoon, 14 in the morning. In addition, the two hottest days on record, July 13th, 99 over 86. That averages out to 92.5. July 18th, 98 over 87. That averages out to 92.5. An average July day in Marathon should only be an average of 85. Take all the records from July of 2016 to July of 2022. Only the July records. Add them up, you get 36. July 2023, we're already up to 33 and more will come. And now look at this statistic. Take all the records from all year round from 2016 to 2022. 297 records in 2,555 days. That is one record every 8.6 days. July of 2023, 33 records in 19 days. One record every 0.57 days. In other words, for about three straight weeks, we had two records per day. So there's another problem with Marathon. And that's the fact that in the summer, in the afternoon, in the blazing sun, the temperature runs hotter than its surroundings. So we reached out to the National Weather Service in Key West. They control Marathon's thermometer. And Chip Casper responded, quote, the ambient air temperature at that location runs on the hot side relative to other official stations in southern Florida, primarily due to the amount of pavement in the vicinity of the ASOS, end quote. By the way, the ASOS, that is the automated system that takes the temperatures. He continues, quote, we have tested and calibrated temperature sensors multiple times over the years, and they are indeed accurate. It is just a little hotter at that particular location and exposure, end quote. So let's take a look at Marathon Airport. Right now, the sensor is located over here on the east side. Their hope is that when they move it in a few years to the west side, that these afternoon temperature anomalies will get corrected. But we feel these records are accurate, and here's the reason why. Starting with morning records, how do we know they're 100% accurate? Water temperatures down near Marathon and Key West were up near 100 degrees, and Key West records are almost identical in the month of July. Now, the afternoon records, not quite as reliable, but we still feel they are valid because some 2022 records were broken by several degrees in 2023. Look at July 13th, 99 degrees. That broke the record of 95 from one year earlier. That's a four degree difference in one year. That tells us these records are absolutely valid. So what can we conclude? Conclusion number one, Marathon does indeed run hotter relative to other South Florida locations, but it's been consistent for its entire existence, especially since 1998. Conclusion number two, Marathon's conditions can be accurately compared to similar urban locations with parking lot streets and buildings, places like downtown Miami. We can look at Marathon and actually apply that to the city. Conclusion number three, summer 2023 is legitimately an historically hot summer thus far for the Florida Keys. Conclusion number four, Marathon's morning records can accurately be compared to the rest of South Florida. Marathon's afternoon records can only be compared to Marathon. 
And finally, and most importantly, conclusion number five, Marathon is South Florida's climate change bellwether. In other words, if we only compare Marathon to itself, we can look at climate change over the years. What we can't do is necessarily compare Marathon to the rest of South Florida, but Marathon over the years is getting hotter. And as long as we hold on to these Marathon numbers, we can look over time to see how our climate is changing here in South Florida. I'm meteorologist Steve McLaughlin.